a boring job. So right now, it's doing a spring cut. And that's where you've done all your cuts with the boring and then the last cut you don't adjust the boring head you go through again it's called a spring cut so as it's slowly doing that what we're we doing well this is the rear swing link on the banana piece on the steam engine obviously and i'm boring it out to push fit these little needle roller bearings inside like you saw there's two here tacked together and doing it in one hit speeds it up well you'd have thought so it's taking its time though I've got another one to do on this yet Ooh. it's quite tight that I'll start the other one and then I'll do some measuring on this and I'll double check but it, it does go stiff I want it a tight fit sort of press fit so that it's the needle rollers on the bearing doing the work not this outside case in this hole moving around right so I'll move it over and then I'll reset this and I'll start this hole so this one should be set to zero on the old dial. Oh, bit far. Come on, oh, I hate it when that happens. Cause we're on camera. The. I always like to tighten up the side ones just so it can't move at all so we'll go back to about there and away we go Notice this on the last one. I must just be slightly over because it, it just catches this back edge on the first cut. But we're only talking a fraction because the second cut it cuts it all. Not to worry. As long as the centres are all right, we're fine. Once the boring bar has gone through, I always stop it, make sure the auto's off, and then I lift it up because if it's still spinning and there's still a spring cut it'll leave a horrible groove on the inside and you don't really want that so this now should he says I think that'll that'll go in I think that'll press in Yeah, that'll go in. I'm going to risk it and take it out. Yeah, 
13.95 so hmm, might be a bit tight I think it'll be fine it'll go in it'll press in won't it so there we go that's the first one done now you may be thinking you're going a bit slow with that boring head but I really like the finish I've got inside it's really smooth Although, I want it to grip these bearings, maybe it being a bit rougher, it might be better. So, one down, and uh, several more holes to go. So, how I started to get these ready, was by drilling them with a 13mm drill first, and then boring out to 14mm for the needle bearings. Now I opted for the drill first, instead of the boring bar, because these are laser cut, it's kind of put a hard surface, only a fraction where the laser cutter has cut. So to save the boring bars, I'm sacrificing a drill to, uh, to take the brunt of the pain. I can always sharpen a drill. I suppose I could sharpen a boring bar but they're quite sharp to start with and they seem alright especially with the finish I've got I'm quite impressed so this is the combination lever so I've only got one hole to bore on this one and then the other two are tapped holes I think it's been so long since I've done anything on this steam engine, I can't quite remember. Anyhow, let's crack on. Now because it's hard, I'm not running it fast. how it suddenly jumped I probably brought the, the drill so that was getting through the hard bit of the laser which would literally just damage the boring bar the drill's okay right now before I bore this one out I'm going to drill these two out I don't know if you can hear that with machine making a funny noise that's better Yes, I did start it with that. 
I need to get some collets. For taps. I'll have to finish that one later. It's hitting the uh, parallels. Okay, I've given in. I've turned the speed up a little bit. Only a little bit though. I hope I get the same finish. Da -da! So with a quick sand, like you've just seen in the uh, time lapse, to get the black off, I'm going to have to get some citric acid to help with that, because doing the connecting rods, I ain't doing it this way again. So we've got the combination lever bored out for 14 mil for the bearing, and the two M10s here. Uh, you've got the top one is for the valve rod, which is that this is the valve rod end. Um, this is one of four. I need to make another two, but the other two are slightly wider. Uh, these are the cylinder end, so I need to make another two slightly thicker for this end. And then that's the swing link that goes at the back of the steam engine. Um, again, board out for the bearings. On the frames is a slot so it can be adjusted. Yeah, they've come out alright. I've tried to get rid of some of the laser cutting marks off it. Uh, these are painted. So I'm not too bothered and obviously they're so low down to the ground no one's going to see them. We finally, we're making progress I think. Now that's it for this video. I do hope you've enjoyed this presentation of mucking about in the workshop and don't forget to click the like button because that will help the video share around the YouTube algorithm and it will be shown to like-minded fellow enthusiasts around the world. And don't forget, if you like what you see on the channel and you haven't already, then please do consider to click the subscribe button. And if you click over here, then you may enjoy that video too. Until next time, in a glorious episode, stay safe. Laters! <laughs>